Welcome once again to Online Mass TV. My name is Remis Jakes Anemo, and today we have uh, a polynomial equation. Uh, it's of third degree polynomial equation. The question says 2x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus 7x plus 2 equal to 0. What then will be the value of x? Okay, so from this uh, polynomial equation, we have to solve for three zeros of this uh, polynomial equation. And so let's take our solution then. Yes, solution. Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video because at Online Mass TV, we drop new videos every day. All right, so let's put down our question. Question says, two x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 2 minus 7 x plus 2 equal to 0. All right, from this question, we have to um, use the trial by error method first to get one of the roots of this polynomial. And if we go by that method, we discover that our f of 2 will give us a 0. So let's go ahead and substitute this into the equation to see if this will give us zero. And so this will give us two into two to the power of three minus bracket two to the power of two minus seven into two, the close bracket plus two. Okay, then this will automatically give us two into eight, the minus four the minus 14 plus 2. Uh, this equal to, it will give us 16 minus or 4 minus 14 plus 2. So let's check if all this we give us 0, this we give us 0, this we give us 0. Okay, so if we add up here, we have 16 minus 4, we give us 12. The 12 minus 14 we give us minus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 will give us 0. Okay, so this will give us 0. And so, therefore, we now discover that your um, x minus 2 equal to 0 is one of the factors of this um, uh, polynomial equation. So, see that we've got to one of the roots here now. Now, the next thing we do is to use this root now, the, the first root we've gotten to divide this polynomial using the long division method. Okay, so let's put it down here using the long, long division method. So we have to use this root to divide our polynomial. So let's draw up our line here. We put down our polynomial 2s to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 7x plus 2. Okay, then we have our x minus 2. Okay, now we continue. From here, we use x to divide 2x to the power of 3. And if we do that, we are left here with 2 x to the power of 2. We further use Dick's answer to multiply what we have in here. So if we do this, this is going to give us 2x to the power of 3, then minus, here we have minus 4 plus, minus 4x to the power of 2. All right, so we rule off and subtract uh, this from this. And so this, we go with this. The minus times this minus will give us plus. And so here we are now left with minus x squared. The plus 4x squared will give us plus 3x squared. Then we bring down our minus 7x. So minus 7x. Again, we use um, dx to divide dx. So if we use x to divide 3x squared, we are now left with your plus 3x. 
so let's use this again to multiply everything here this will give us here 3x squared then plus 3x times minus 2 will give us minus 6x again we rule off and we subtract okay then this we go with x because plus 3x squared minus 3x squared will give us 0 then minus times minus will give us plus again then minus 7x plus 6x here we are left with minus x all right we bring the last term which is plus 2 so plus 2 okay now we do this we go again with our division we use this to divide this if we do this here we give us here minus 1 left with minus 1 here yeah? so minus 1 times x will give us minus x then minus 1 times minus 2 will give us plus 2 we rule off again and carry it out ours so here yeah, minus times minus will give us plus so we are left with minus x plus x this and this will leave the system the minus will affect this plus to give us minus so we now have this to be um plus 2 minus 2 so this will also give us 0 so at the point where we have a 0 0 we now bring this our equation here now okay we bring this equation here and we solve that quadratically so this expression will now give us here 2x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to yeah, we have x minus 2 close bracket bracket our 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 close bracket all right everything here are equal to 0 okay now we've gotten this already let's solve this quadratically so we're solving 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 equal to zero quadratically because here we apply the zero uh, product rule to this expression here where we equate this to zero equate this to zero so if we have to solve this quadratically now we want to use the formula method okay so using the formula method okay using formula method formula method we go ahead to quote our formula which says x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a what is the value of a b and c we have our a is equal to the coefficient of x squared which is 2 then b is coefficient of x which is 3 and c is the constant term which is minus 1 so if we go ahead to impute this into our formula we're going to have x to be equal to here we now have minus 3 okay the plus minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 bracket 1 sorry a is 2 please a is 2 bracket bracket minus 1 all over 2 times 2 which is our a if we continue further this we give us here minus 3 the plus minus the square root of 9 minus times minus will give us plus 4 times 2 times 1 will give us 8 all over 4 this implies that your x equal to minus 3 plus minus your we now have 9 plus 8 we give us 17 all over 4 all right then we go again to split this or we cannot say therefore and therefore our x is equal to your minus 3 plus minus the square root of 17 all over 4 as 
the second and third root to this equation. Therefore, our x first root is equal to 2, then this x1, then our x2 is equal to minus 3 plus the square root of 17 all over 4, and our x3 is equal to minus 3 minus the square root of 17 all over 4. Okay, so these are the zeros of the uh, polynomial, and because it's having um, a, a three uh, degree, so we have a three solution or three roots from this uh, polynomial equation. So if you have learned something from this video, however simple it may be, give the video a thumbs up, and if you have a better way of solving this. Also, drop it in the comment section. Okay? Yeah, we love you so much because you are always there. Don't forget to share with your family and friends, members who need this knowledge. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.